It's time for our Samsung S22 social media test. Good day, you beautiful people. Welcome to Isara's Tech, where we do tech in your life in style. In this video, we are testing the Samsung S22 on the social media apps you use most. When they launched the S22 series, Samsung said that these devices were better optimized for social media. We've already tested out the Samsung S22 Ultra, basically the top spec S22 device for social media. You can check it out here and down below. But now it's time for the S22. We're gonna be on Snapchat, TikTok, Instagram stories to check out filters, low light, stabilization. But first, let's see how your S22 stories look viewed through the lens of different devices. So I have the iPhone 13 Pro and the Google Pixel to test out what our posts actually look like to others viewing our stories or TikToks. Okay, so I have four phones in front of me. This is the S22, which we shot those stories on. Let's start with the Google Pixel 6 Pro. This is what the story looks like. This is on the camera app. iPhone 13 Pro now. That's right, I'm shooting that social media test and this Instagram story is shot using the Samsung S22 on the Instagram app itself. Hey. And this is the rear cameras behind the scenes of how we shoot videos. And that's Joshua. Hi. <laughs> yup. And last but not the least, this is the iPhone SE and I wanted to add this because of how the screen is different and this is how older phones look. That's right, I'm shooting that social media test and this Instagram story is shot using the Samsung S22 on the Instagram app itself. Hey. And this is the rear cameras behind the scenes of how we shoot videos. And that's Joshua. Hi. <laughs> yup. So the last time I did a social media test, a lot of you guys wanted to see the filters using the phone. Right, okay, so we are on the Instagram app right now and let's see if filters, well, if most of my filters that I use work. So... More or less, I'm getting the filters <laughs> that I like using. Hmm. Oh my god. This is what the beauty filter looks like on the Instagram app. Hmm. Okay, well, there. We're doing Snapchat now, so let's see where are the different filters. Oh, this is cute. There's a Lucky Charms filter. Oh. Chase. There's a Chase filter. So far, I'm... S what? So far, I'm seeing that the filters are working. Wow. This is me blonde. Um, I don't know how to feel about this. Oh my god. It's the doggy filter. Snapchat shot on the S22. And also, did you guys notice that there's a low light mode photos only? So we're definitely going to be checking that out later when we test out performance in low light on social media. So this is how TikTok looks on the S22. I'm shooting it with a TikTok app. Let's check out a couple of trending filters. So that does work. Oh, this is a very flattering filter. Look, I look like I'm glowing and you see my background is cut out. Oh, yes. Ooh, so this is what filters look like. 
I have to admit, I did try this filter before and it said that like it wasn't supported on the S22. I guess they updated that. Huh. Nice. And I'm so proud of my eyebrows too. You see that, you guys? Babe. <laughs> Oh my god! Do something. <laughs> On video, the S22 can do wide and can zoom up until 12x. Of course, we try this on the social media apps as well. So we're doing zooms now. This is wide, 1x, 3x, and then zooming into 12x. And this is on the native camera app of the S22. Back to 1x. IG app this time. And we can do 1x up until... I don't know what this is. And then back to 1x. This is wide on Instagram stories. Can you zoom? Wait, you can. And that's how much it will zoom. Back to wide. This is Snapchat now, and it does wide, and then whoa, it zooms in even more than the camera app does. <laughs> That's crazy. This is TikTok, and then it zooms in up until here. Zoom out, and there is no wide. Walking and talking now because we're checking out the stabilization on social media. So right now I'm obviously shooting on the in camera app. And this is what it looks like when this is what it looks like when I'm walking and talking. Of course, your cameras this time. But there is also a steady mode on this and the steady mode turned on. This is what that looks like. Walking and talking and talking Instagram stories now rear cameras this time around we're on snapchat now and this is the front facing camera walking and talking and let me show you flipping it this is the front facing camera what it looks like when you walk and shoot day out here we go tiktok this time walking and talking on this nice sunny day flipping it around so you can see how that looks via the rear cameras of this phone Also, I do have a pimple patch on my face because some person told me to pop my pimple in my last video and I will not, sir. That is bad for your skincare. Never do that. And also, pimples are normal. Okay. Right, but you guys, if you've seen my S22 Ultra video, you'd know that the ultimate test would be to put these posts side by side using... ...while running up and down the same stairs this segment again yeah so we're getting some much needed exercise here are the videos side by side and of course nothing really beats in camera app stabilization i personally think that snapchat and tiktok did better than instagram stories now we're gonna test out portrait video and if it works on any of the social media apps and by the way you're watching portrait video being shot straight on the camera app of the s22 right now only snapchat has a similar mode this is the focus mode and you're looking at that right now as you can see everything behind me is blurred this is what the night mode looks like on the s22 native app of course i tried it on the other apps as well and on snapchat there is a dedicated night mode like we saw earlier Although it did say that it only worked on certain lenses. It did seem to work well on 1x but not so well on wide. And also take note that this night mode only works on photos on Snapchat. On Instagram stories, even without a dedicated night mode, photos look good on 1x though I can't really say the same for wide. And this is how video looks like in low light.
On the other hand, you can't really take just photos on the TikTok app and this is what video looks like shot in low light in the same app. And that was our social media test with the S22. How do you think it did? Let me know in the comment section down below. Just like the S22 Ultra, I think Snapchat still has the best features. The fact that it has a dedicated focus mode, night mode, and the crazy zoom just utilizes the Samsung S22 cameras better. I also think that TikTok did pretty well with stabilization. And if you notice with the audio, it did tend to bump up the volume now it doesn't necessarily make the audio better but it does make it louder which can be pretty useful if you're out and about shooting and like i said earlier when i first got the s22 there were a couple of filters that i couldn't try on this phone glad to report that i'm now able to use those filters and like i said in my s22 ultra video i'm really happy that phone manufacturers are now looking into optimizing more and more of their features on social media i do feel like there's still a bunch to do to improve on that experience and i'm happy to say that i do see improvements in terms of performance Right, that's it for today. Let me know what you think about this social media test and what you'd like to see on these types of videos in the comment section down below. If you want to see how I use my tech on a daily basis, find me online. That's Isa does underscore on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. Until next time!